Hello! Welcome back to Skinsha 1913, and we are Let's Play in Sukaden 2. In the last episode, we, um, did some cooking stuff, we beat, uh, well, no, we, that's about it. That's about it, really. Anyways, let's talk to Richmond. We can do our next cooking thing, and then, oh, we also got more recipes for the guy. Hello, vampires. She she almost found me, and I got so scared my blood about to froze. Even though they die soon, so. Yeah, I wonder if she's ever gonna mention about her husband. All right. I think if I just spend enough time farting around, I can get all these cooking mini games. Cause now we're gonna be doing the tenth. Cause I did make sure that we can. Uh, that we can do the next one. Probably what I'll do is I'll continue to level up characters, because that's kind of what I've been doing. I'm getting everyone up until I'm 50, 53, and, uh, just, you know, I don't know. I'm just doing it because I can't figure out what the hell I gotta do next. Anyways, here we are. Tenth round out of, le out of 12. I've gotta beat Retso, but I don't know if I can. Don't worry, Hayo. I know you. I know that you can win next time. And apparently, there's a chef. And look who it is. It's Lester. He was from Tsukuden One. I don't remember what exactly he made. But he's gonna give Hayo some. Uh... Oh, so. Oh, look at that. They used to work together. Yeah, so that's true. You're a friend of Antonio. That's right. You better hurry up and get started, but first I need to sh see how good you are. Let's have a cook-off. Yeah, we, you need the training. But the th interesting thing is, there was supposed to be a thing where Barbara fell because she got poisoned or something, but I guess that isn't going to happen now. Anyways, here we're going to fight Lester. see what our judges have to say. Ninja Boy, he won't admit it, but his weak spot is chocolate. I don't know what Clive likes. Bob likes me. And finally, Cobalt's like, uh, Cobalt stuff, I guess. Today's challenger is Lester. Chef Lester. And now the person we've all... Chef Army, Kaio. Only two more after this. Alright, so let's start off with... Uh, we got all different kinds of stuff now. Um, I don't know what the hell to start off with. Let's start off with a salad. Island salad. Let's do some meat. People like meat, right? Let's do steak. Not Japanese steak. Not piccata. Sweet, no. Beef steak? Sure, let's do that. And then finally, ice cream. No. I don't know if I can do a chocolate thing. I don't know if there's anything chocolate here. I'm just gonna go again with the, uh, cake and shortcake. So let's, uh, I wonder if this will work. Did I do a safe state? Uh... You know what, let me, let me do that and be right back. Alright, let's see if this is the winning combo. Looks like they're ready, let's cook off! I am Chef Uko-san! I wonder if hitting the X up here really does do anything. Or if I don't touch anything, if it'd be ready anyways. I don't know. Ah! He's got a weak spot for chocolate. You got meat. You got cobalt stuff. Cobalt's probably like steak, right? And I don't know what the hell Clive likes. Alright. 
die at lunch. What the hell is that? Oh, okay, good. You screwed that up. Let's see if I can win him over with a salad. Not bad. Better than Lester. Oh, shit. This is gonna be like sushi. We're screwed. Oh, good. You know, Clive's... Clive's pretty nasty. With his scores. Beef steak. Alright, not bad. Uh, probably even out against the other guy. And now he's giving him a salad for dessert. Yeah, you can't give him salad for dessert. Give him something sweet like cake. Shortcake, give us the scores. Yeah. Yeah, Clive did all ones. He's very picky. I'm pretty sure we won this one. Yes, we did. Sorry, Lester. We win. Yeah, I did. Lester was not holding back. Why would he be holding back? Yeah. Remember how he moved? Couldn't be, I can't believe it. And he's gonna give us the sushi recipe, which is amazing. Yep, and now he talks about a guy named Gremio, who's not a chef, but he can actually cook the dickens off, so he wants us to go there. And if we go there, we're gonna get... We're going to get... Uh, we're gonna get the stew recipe. I don't think if we go... And I wanna get the stew recipe, because apparently the stew recipe is the shiznit. Is the shiznit. So, what I'm going to do... Let's see, is there anything else? Yeah, uh, we've already done that. Uh, Alright. Okay, so apparently we, we must be in the, in the time range in which now we're going to get flooded with comments in the suggestion box. Anyways, uh, what I want to do now is head back to Gregminster. I guess I'll do that off screen. We'll talk to Gremio. I'll see, hopefully I can purchase a flowing rune. That would be nice. I just want to take uh, some of these characters out of here because they're not worth having. Uh, I really only need Stallion, I guess. And uh, don't really matter. Another thing I'm going to look up yeah, let's take George, first Merga, and Fitch. Anyways, what I'm gonna do off screen, like I said, is go there, and then um, we're gonna get the recipe from Gremio. I'm also going to see if they have the flowing rune there, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back in Gregminster. Let's go meet Gremio and get ourselves his stew recipe. Come over here, you should be cooking. My hands are full right now, this is the most important step when you're making a stew. Let's leave him alone. I don't want to pull his ears or tickle him just like Master T Turi used to do. I'm better than Master Turi. Oh shit, you're gonna give me the recipe. What a guy. You're a good guy. So let's see what. Let's, uh. Let's. Let's take one. Uh, the young master is with me. And let's pull his ears because that's nasty too. Look, we poor Gremio. We can't leave him alone. We're always messing with him, you know, he, 
He screws up with that stew, that's it, game over, alright? There's gonna be nothing left for anyone else to eat. So now we have the Gremio's stew recipe, which is awesome. I never ended up getting this far to, in order to get it, so this is pretty, pretty cool. I feel pretty special. I've never actually... I'm not gonna lie to you, I've never actually beaten the whole, uh, uh cooking minigame before. Probably because I never decided to take enough time to, you know, purchase the things and all that. Anyways, it's not really good here. Please have the rare finds. Please have a rare find. Please have a rare find. Please have a rare find. Come on, I want the flowing room. Oh, come on. Yeah, they are tough. I don't like them. Anyways, we got the stew recipe. I guess I'll walk back. And we'll see if we got anything cool to deal with with anybody that's cool. So yeah, I'll be back. Alright, we are out of there. Let's see if we can do another match. Probably not, but you never know. Now, um, actually, I want to also talk about some transfer over bonuses that we can get. You can only transfer over your items and stuff if you have, um, if you did at the final save point. Now, you don't have to have the Sukuden 1 data in order to, now let's see, we can make a special stew, which, two seafood, one pork, one egg, one potato. Too bad we don't have any seafood because I suck at getting it. Otherwise, I would totally make it. Anyways, I want to talk about some transfer over data. Uh, I guess apparently some characters' stats will go over with the weapons and all that. And uh, something else. Oh, really? There's there there's an, a thing in the next game where they they, they do plays or something like that. There's like a theater. Anywho's um, there's a like a theater thing, and what's up happening is if you transfer over the Sukuden 1 data and the Sukuden 2 data, you'll get like special plays. Um, other than that, like, uh, I don't know if there's much like transfer over bonuses that I can actually think of. Um, so, what I'm gonna have to do is train some more with some of my characters, kill some time. I'm actually going to off-screen figure out like what I need to do in order to transfer over character stuff for the next game. Also, I'm going to... You know what? While we're here, let's go appraise those two things. Anyways, yeah, I'll just kill some more time so that we can do another cooking mini-game, and then I'll do the same thing. We'll finish off the cooking mini-games, because that's what I'll do before we head off and finish the game. Because then I won't have to do any bonus episodes, because I can't think of anything else that I want to show off after I'm done with that, uh, after, after I'm done with making, with, uh, going to, uh, you know, the thing. Let's see, if we go down here, actually, this might actually be not a bad idea. These guys, he sells these different types of, well, he just sells soy sauce, I guess. But I was gonna say, maybe he could have, uh, given us something good for, like, uh, we can give it to Tai Hoi. Tai Hoi. But, uh, yeah. So, Alright, quickly before I uh, finish the episode, let's look at this. Richmond with Sierra's final thing here. Okay, so, uh, who else should I look into? Oh, George has more? Hmm. I don't know who I should look into. Uh, let's see... I don't know. 
anyone has any, any uh, suggestions, maybe I'll look into someone. But uh, I'm trying to think of anyone else that might be interesting. How about Pesmerga? Yeah. Go look into him. So, yeah. Back to your regularly scheduled part. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll kill some more time by training. I'm, I'm going to end the episode, uh... Like I said, I'm gonna kill some time by, uh... Let's sell the... Return stab 1.5. So basically, it boosts up your... Your, uh, counter. Oh, wow. This stuff sells for quite a bit. Anyways, like I said, I'll just stop the video here. I'll kill some more time by leveling up more of my party members. Over near in the final area. And then, um... Hopefully we'll be able to do the next uh, cooking mini game, and then and then do another cooking mini game, and then we'll be done. So this has been Kenshin 1913. I'll see you later. Bye bye.